So a lot of people think that successful people are money hungry, they obsess over money, they worship money, right? But in my experience, I learned that it's the exact opposite. In fact, most poor people worship money. They do anything for money, right? But on the other hand, the successful people, the more well-off people don't worship money. This video is going to explain what I'm talking about. Headed to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble-eyed beans, it look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard, though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred, though. Cause that's all it takes, pop. I'm flashing for I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. Yeah, so look, I want to be rich because I don't worship money. And to some people that might sound weird because I know a lot of times I talk to people a lot, all the time and most of the time, nine times out of ten, whenever we're talking, I find a way to spin it into business or I find a way to spin what we're talking about into a way that we can make money. And like, I remember a guy was telling me the other day he was talking about drinks or whatever, alcohol or beverages or whatever, and he was talking about how he made this little punch uh, out of beer and somebody paid him 40 bucks for a jar of that little drink he made. And I told him, I said, wow, that's a business you got right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I always turn everything into a business. And I had a couple of people tell me before, like everything ain't always about money. You can't take it with you and this and this and that. Well, first off, my first reply to that is, no, you can't take it with you, but you can pass it on. And that's the goal, to, to build for your kids, 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 and so on. So uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is, right, you can't take money with you so why work so hard for it? That's the whole goal. That's why I'm always worried about business and trying to build assets. My whole thing is building assets. So why would I want to work? Why would I want a job to work for money? I know uh, Dame Dash said in that interview he did, he said that you're working for a weekend. I see. I mean, well, why would you work for money? Like, what are you getting from the money other than a couple of different liabilities and, and, and temporary things, stuff, as Robert Kiyosaki would say? But I say you work for assets and you work for freedom. That's, that's what I work for. I work for freedom. I work to get the assets so I can get the, uh, the cash flow to have the freedom. I don't work for money. That's why I quit the job that I had. And that's why I, I don't believe in working jobs. I'll never work. You could pay me $2 million an hour. I don't care what it is. I don't really care for working for other people. I'm trying to work for myself. Now, don't get me wrong. You pay me that much, yeah, I'll take the job, but it's temporary. It's always temporary. Every job is temporary because you don't want to build somebody else's dream. You want to build your own. That's just my philosophy. So, and I don't, I don't always stay focused either. I got to admit this to y'all. One of my biggest secrets is I struggle to stay focused in this life because I understand the reality of this stuff. Like, first off, let's just talk about what we could consider money for a minute it's really nothing but just a green piece of paper that's really all it is and so i'm not afraid of gambling with it because i understand what it is like it doesn't control me like you see a lot of these guys and they go work at these jobs that they hate for 30 years and work overtime and kill their back and all of that and doing it for money why would you do all of that over over a green piece of paper? It doesn't make sense to me. And then I said, they said, well, you use money where you can get what you want and what you need. And that's true. So why not figure out a way to get the money and then make the money work for you instead of you work for the money? Because it controls you. I feel like if I get up and I go to a job every single day that I don't like, that means the money is my God at that point. Because... I'm doing everything to get that money. Like, I'm doing everything to please, you know, to, to, get, to get money. Like, my whole life is revolved around money. I have to go to work. I can't go out and, and, and go play golf or go to a, a, a lunch in with a friend or whatever because I got to report to this job. Why do I have to report to this job? Because I need money. Not because I love the job, but because I need money. And so, when I do my businesses and stuff like that, people say, well, you might, you don't love cleaning. Well, Let's just explain something there, too. Cleaning is not my passion, because people like to throw that around. It's not my passion, but I'm passionate about it. When I clean, I'm bad, I'm very passionate about it. I spend great, a good amount of time in my buildings, and I do good work. So I'm very passionate about it, 
but it's not my passion. I don't feel like it's what I was put here on earth for, but I'm just passionate about building businesses in general, building assets in general and things that cash flow. Because what I don't believe in is taking up and giving away my freedom in exchange for dollars, in exchange for my time. You know what I mean? Like I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. And a lot of people, they can't seem to fathom that thought. Like uh, a lot of people will say, well, they will uh, be secure. They want safety and secure. Well, something that I also learned, I think I mentioned this one of my last videos too, the exact opposite of freedom is security. And that, that sounds crazy. That's like, because that's two words that we were always taught are, are good things. And which it can be. But freedom is the one that I value most. And you got to figure out to you what, what matters most to you. If you value security more, then you're probably going to need a job. If you value freedom more, then you probably going to go the entrepreneur route. So, I know in uh, the book, uh, Before You Quit Your Job, I know Robert Kiyosaki said that the uh, most secure place you could be is in maximum, maximum security, which is prison. <laughs> because they, they're housed, their clothes, you know what I mean? They, they got a roof over their head, they got food in their mouth. That's the most secure place you can be. So if you really want security, that's that's probably, that's just, that's that's out there, you know what I mean? So, I like freedom, me personally. And yeah, they say it's risky and all of that other mess. But at least it's risk that's based on me. You know what I mean? At least it's based on uh, what I do and put out there. I'm about to go through this tunnel so it's going to get dark. But, I don't want to base my future and my life on being at some job that I don't know what's going to happen or I don't have a huge say in what happens like uh, the guys at work when I was trying to explain that concept to him and I was trying to explain to him how I control my life and the guy was like okay well if you control your life you mean to tell me right now if this block of wood sitting on this lock up here falls down on your head you control that too and you know it was like okay I'm not saying that, <laughs> you know what I mean, I control every single little thing. But for the most part, I control everything that happens in my life. Like, not, and, 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 and just to put a little spin on that, if I didn't sit right up under that locker knowing that the block was up there and it wouldn't fall on my head, and I wouldn't. So even then, I'm kind of still in control. But the point is this. I like to put myself in situations where if there's going to be any risk, then I like to be the one that's risking it. And, and I... And, you know, I'd be like, I like to be the responsible party for it. If I got to be the one to live with the outcome of it, then why not be the one that's responsible for, uh, for the actions? You know what I mean? So, hopefully I was able to get with y'all. Hopefully I was able to register. But I just wanted to put that out there because some people get confused and say, oh, you work too hard. You, you act like the money is everything. No, you act like money is everything because you're the one going up to a job every day that you hate. You know what I mean? And, and doing stuff that you hate doing over a piece of dollar. So... That's my time, y'all. See, I got a call, and I got to take this one. So I'll call y'all back. I'm at, you know, <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching my video. And make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video, because I know you did. And also hit subscribe. And right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell. You got to click that, because guess what? You never know when I'm gonna go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos, all right? And if you wanna start or grow your business, check out cleanbiznetwork.com, all right? We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also don't forget to download the Calculated Clean mobile app as well, all right? So that's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video, why not? Binge on it, let's go.